Welcome to episode 3 of my first PC build series. In this episode, we'll be unboxing the motherboard, the CPU fan, and the CPU. And we'll also be installing it on the motherboard. Stay tuned. So this is the motherboard, the MSI H610M-G. It comes with the IO shield. Wi-Fi antenna and the board itself so this is the look of the board the back side as well as the front so then we have the CPU cooler Intel Lamina RH1. It has its own thermal paste applied already. So it's time to start the installation process. We check the ports of the board. We have an HDMI port, VGA port, display ports two usb and then other two usbs as well as the rg45 jack microphone speaker then the cpu socket lga 1700 the graphics ports the ddr5 ram slots cmos battery pci slots wi-fi SATA ports, CPU power. Other ports are the main power supply to the board, M2 SSD slot, the system fan, RGB lights or fans, CPU fan, front panel buttons and port, USB for the front panel, and then mic and speaker for the front panel. The CPU, Intel i9-14900KF So I start by removing the latch of the CPU socket and then on one of the corners of the CPU is a golden triangle so I matched it with a triangle marker on the socket and it matched perfectly. Then cover it and then use the latch to lock it in place. With that the CPU is installed. Normally we apply a thermal paste directly on the CPU before fixing the cooler. But this CPU cooler comes with its own thermal paste. A thermal paste is a material which is much higher in thermal conductivity than air. This helps the transfer of heat from the CPU to the cooler. So in installing this CPU cooler, I first remove the bottom part which is fixed. Then fix the CPU cooler on the CPU. Make sure it fits into its holes perfectly. So I turn the back of the board and then connect the under part so that the screws will be able to fit in its holes very well. I then turn the knobs of the screws. I turn it partly on each side to make sure everything is fit before I tighten the whole part. So with this, we have the RGB cable as well as the power supply. So I connect the power supply on the board. I 
as usual links to purchase these parts are in the description that is it for this episode in the next episode i'll be unboxing the pc case and the power supply as well as fixing the power supply in the pc case catch you in the next one